ating second day. This is my roommate's bed. So you can see my whole outfit. So waiting na lang ako dun sa kasama ko. Papuntang laboratory. My class today is 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So, pwede naman din kayo magdala ng mga ganito sa dorm. This is not mine. Ito lang yung ahin. Diyan ako nagpapainit. So, I'm going na. So, nag-iisip ako kung may naiwan ako o wala. Mahirap na kasi na makaiwan ng gamit kasi malayo itong dorm. Another quick De La Samichisai tour. Here's the library. I always walk by it. And then, here's an alternative route going to the Lourdes building. Here's the Lourdes building where you will see the Lasso office at the left side but you cannot see here in this video. And then, senior high school rooms are located at the first floor and then laboratory rooms at the second and the third floor. Science and symptoms? Here's our dining area. I've already shown you this room in my first vlog. If you haven't watched it yet, link down below. In here, we put our booties, our hair cap, our gloves, our laboratory gowns, and we arrive at 30 minutes earlier before our scheduled classes, so there aren't many people yet. Finally done donning all my PPE, so we're currently waiting for our lab profs to call on us to wait outside each laboratory rooms. So here's our eating area and then the hallway where we will line up later and here's another eating area. Just waiting for my classmates and preparing my things before putting our bags in the lockers provided. Here's our laboratory setup. You can see that each student is separated by plastic cover barriers and even the professors to minimize the transmission of COVID if there will be. And then here is my working area and the materials that I'll be using. Let's start! For our histopathology class, we'll do tissue processing up until tissue embedding. First, we prepared our substitute tissues not really human tissues by cutting it to a proportionate size to the tissue molder and cassette. We then label it using our section and last name. Afterwards, we put a little bit of paraffin wax which is preheated by our prof and place the tissue on it. We then pour the paraffin wax again followed by the placement of the tissue cassette. Make sure to push the tissue cassette to compress and stabilize the tissue. It is better to let the tissue embedded paraffin block to cool using an ice pack than with none because it may take the tissue block hours to cool. We were tasked to make two tissue embedded paraffin block, one for the soft tissue and one for the hard tissue. Our soft tissue here is the tofu and the hard tissue is the meat. I'm just currently waiting for the paraffin block to solidify. My professor is currently discussing a few notes or reminders for us while we wait for our tissue to solidify before removing the excess paraffin wax, then proceeding to tissue sectioning. What we did here is the old way of tissue embedding process, but today, we now have the embedding center where we use it for easier and more convenient embedding performance. The embedding center also features cold plate and hot plate. For the hot plate, we could easily melt the paraffin wax and reposition it at the center. For the cold plate, the tissue will easily solidify with it than without an ice pack, for example. 
our professor explains that the stove is not temperature controlled so some of the paraffin produced will be yellowish in color since it was subjected to further reheating for use of batch in different time schedules. Due to reheating, the paraffin wax may be burnt and will have low quality. In clinical laboratory practice, the paraffin wax should not turn into color yellow because its temperature should be controlled. After 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 years, my tissue blocks finally solidified and I'm currently trimming it so that it would look like a rectangular shape without excess paraffin wax. It is easier to cut or like it's easy to cut because it's just a paraffin wax and when we section it using a micro tomb, it would be even in shape and in size. Though it's easy, it actually took me so long in just one block because I was so careful and so excited with the process because it's my first time so I just enjoyed and it's really really fun. Here are the senior high school rooms and this is their hallway. We're finally going home. Oh my gosh, hindi ko pa na napakita sa inyo yung output ko. Sorry, nagmamadali. Tapos ako na lang yung huli. Pressured. Char. Anyways, hindi masyadong maganda yung nagawa kong tissue. But it's fine kasi. Um, first timer lang naman. Ayaya pa nga ha, minister na gumawa ng isa pang embedding. But then, parang... Day one na go home na. So, it's okay naman. At least we've tried. So, gre-grade na yung sir. So, ha, okay lang yung grade ko doon. Although, nagkabutas kasi yung paraffin ko. So, I'm sad. Pero, okay lang. That's life. Ito na lang. Hindi ako inabot na 7. Kasi, nakakatakot maglahad sa gabi. Siyempre, gabi na. Malapit nang gumabi. At tomorrow na, ang real fight. Bakte. Oh my gosh. Sana gram positive. Hindi ko kayo madadala dun sa bukas, third day ko, and fourth day sa Bakte. Kasi, bawal mag-camera. Bawal din yung notes. Only the lab sheets are allowed. And we're gonna identify the bacteria. So, kaya two days kasi i-incubate pa. And after incubation, you're gonna identify your final answer. And then, you're gonna be graded. So, every wrong move, there's two deduction, Two points deduction. So, wish me luck. Nadito na ako sa dorm. Yeah, I'm here. So, ito na nga. Ito na yung freezer. May freezer dito. But I don't know yung laman. Parang sa mga employees. Ito. Tapos, free yung water. Yun yung amenities. Then, may microwave. Hindi ko alam. Pwede sila mag-sign dito yung employees din. Then, microwave. This is the oven. So, hindi ko pa na lang tatay mag-oven. So, that's it for day 2. And, hindi ako masyadong nakapag-video kasi nga, konti na kasi yung ginawa namin. Nag-embedding lang talaga kami. And, sira kasi yung mga microtome. So, wala naman kami magawa. Hindi naman namin pwede ikot yung tissue mag-isa. See tomorrow, guys. Mag-disinfect muna ako. Bye!